anything specific that you saw from their guys that, that was just kind of clicking or was this just your night? No, I just, I carried over what we did in Texas. I was, I was swinging it well, I was just missing some stuff. So I was trying to be super aggressive and hit the first strikes I see there, no good. So. Was it nice to be in a more deer friendly ballpark? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, obviously if you barrel, barrel it well, it's gonna go, so. What did you guys learn the most out of the Texas trip that you were able to apply to a tough game tonight against a team that was a win away from Omaha last year? Yeah, I mean, I feel like uh, in Texas, those teams were just really sharp. They didn't make mistakes. And if we made mistakes, they answered back. So I feel like we learned that we have to play that type of baseball, you know, no mistakes and just battle our asses off and, and keep going. Sean, coming in in a tight spot like that, uh, what what was kind of your mentality going into that that at bat and no one had to get out of it to keep you guys in the game? I mean, initially I was kind of planning for uh, Neville, the lefty. Yep. But they pinch hit for him, so I mean, bases are juice, so there's nowhere for anyone to go. So you got to come in and fill the zone up. Ideally, I was looking for something that I could get him to roll over, get a ground ball, with double play, but uh, set him up pretty well and then ended up punching him out. Lost the next guy. That was that really, that can't happen. Um, but he put together a good at bat and then finished up with the lefty. So, I mean, minimized the damage right there, but definitely could have been a little better. Brandon, the two home runs will take the highlights, but the eighth inning single to tie the game was probably the biggest at bat for you of the day. What was your kind of approach going into that bat and what allowed you to shorten up and just punch one through? At first, I was just trying to pull the ball, but he gave me two off speed and I kind of looked stupid <laughs> on one of them. So I'm like, shoot, I got to go back up the middle and just get a hit, keep. Tap, keep passing on the baton, so I, that's all I was thinking. I, that pitch forward, and it worked out perfectly. So, Sean, um, there's been a number of really positive bullpen outings uh, for you guys. You're a part of that. What has sort of changed in terms of you know there are some bumps in the road, especially the first couple of weeks um, from from the bullpen, and now it seems like things are are uh, taking an upswing. What what has sort of landed itself for them? I mean, I think we're just kind of. I mean, we're just playing more games, so we're getting a little bit more experience, more comfortable. Um, I mean, I love, this bullpen's awesome. I love being a part of it, and uh, it's, it's super fun to watch guys go up and uh, pick each other up, whether someone has a, you know, not a great day, but it's, it's nice to see some guy come in, you know, pick him up and get the job done. What can you say about Ryan Schieffer? Uh, obviously, he's making the jump from Juco to Pac-12 ball now. Um, what has he shown, like, in the day-to-day? -day? Uh, you can answer this, too. Um, that has sort of, sort of reflected his success so far? I mean, he's been nails. It's been awesome to watch. I mean, just going out there and competing. I pitched, like, we both pitched together the last game on Friday, too. It's been nice. awesome. Like, I mean, it's just really fun to watch him succeed and just go out and compete. I mean, he's got unbelievable stuff. It's, it's just, it's been a pleasure for me to watch and be a part of it. He's a great guy. And the fall is the same thing. Just insane stuff, a ton of pitches, you know, moves in all sorts of different spots. So, like, just when he's able to command spots and do his thing, it's like he's unhittable, as you can see. Brandon, you've had a couple at bats that have been in, in high stakes situations. How do you kind of control yourself going into that at bat with the stakes so high? You just gotta know, well for me, it's knowing that this is a team, you know, it's not all on me. It's just going up there and hitting, hitting the ball and giving it to the guy on deck, so that's all I'm thinking. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. Thank you guys.